I made the cuts next to the pencil line. This way, I could sand to the pencil line. Hey there, Scott here with Saws on Skates. Today I'm going to show you how to get your spices organized with this antique inspired spice shelf. It has curved details, three shelves, and space for about 21 spice jars. In the description box below, there's a link to download the complete material list, measurements, and step-by-step -step instructions. Let's get started. First I used the miter saw to cut the pieces for the sides. Next I printed the template that's included with the plan and traced it onto the side pieces. I used a scroll saw to cut out the curved details, but you might be able to use a jigsaw instead. I made the cuts next to the pencil line. This way, I could sand to the pencil line. I temporarily joined the sides with painter's tape and smoothed the edges with a spindle sander. Then I cut the shelves and drilled pocket holes in each end. The bottom shelf sets up a quarter inch from the bottom of the sides. I used two pieces of quarter inch MDF to help position the bottom shelf. I also used pieces of scrap wood to help position the middle and top shelf. The pocket holes on the middle and top shelf are tricky to reach with a traditional driver. A right angle drill attachment is the perfect tool to drill in a tight spot or drive screws in hard to reach places. I cut the back for each shelf and drilled pocket holes in each end. I cut the piece for the top and traced the template with a pencil. Again, I used a scroll saw to cut out the curved details. Next, the edges of the top were sanded smooth. Then I drilled pocket holes in each end. I cut out the pieces for the front rails and laid out the locations for the mounting holes. First I used a Forstner bit. The Forstner bit makes an area for the plugs that will be used to hide the screws. Next I drilled a pilot hole the rest of the way through the wood. I clamped a piece of scrap wood at the bottom to help position the bottom rail. Then I used pieces of scrap wood to help position the middle rail. I used my Craig Multimark to help center the rail from side to side. I repeated the process for the top rail. This spice shelf is ready to get your spices organized. Stick around, another helpful DIY video is coming up.